All right, welcome back to video number three of our note reading series. And group three is actually um, a little more complicated than the other two groups. So I definitely recommend that you learn these first two groups really well before diving into to group three. Now the thing that changes in group three, we've learned low notes and high notes, and now we're gonna learn the middle notes, everything that's in between. So if we're gonna be starting with what's at the top here and going up to what's right underneath to here. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that we need to remember or learn is that there's this great big space between the two staves. And what happens in this space, there's actually three notes that exist in this space that can only exist in this space and nowhere else that will always be seen in this, you know, I technically call it the big middle space. I don't know if it has a technical name actually. Um, so you have to pretend that there's a line in the middle of this space. And this line, of course, would make two more spaces. So that tells you about our three notes that have to be in this space. One of them is on this imaginary line, and the other two are in these imaginary spaces, okay? Now, in this third group, GBDF is actually going to have space notes this time, and ACE will have line notes, so it is kind of switched. So we're actually going to start right here where we left off. We had the ACE and this next space is the G. Okay? And remember we have two spaces in this big middle space and they will be B and D and this last one up here on the treble staff is F. And uh, the line notes will do very much the same. This one is the A, and you can see we've, we've done GBDF. And this last line at the top is the A where we're going to be starting. C. And you can see that I've drawn a line through the C um, to indicate this sort of imaginary line. Uh, anytime we write a C, we actually do have to write the line in, inside it. <coughs> and then E up here. So this group can be a little more complicated to learn, so make sure that you consider all of these notes carefully. Um, if you get confused, there's another pattern I can, I can point out, and that is um, any note on here, if we're just counting lines or just counting spaces, we'll follow this pattern, so we'll have the GBDF group, and then the ACE, and then the GBDF, and then the ACE. So in this case, if we were counting line notes, we know from the bottom, it's G, B, D, F, and then we have A, C, E, and then G, B, D, F, right? And the space notes, same thing. We start with A, C, E in a space note, then G, B, D, F, and then A, C, E. And that should get you from the bottom all the way to the top. Okay, there's one other thing that we need to talk about in this third group, which is these two space notes. Actually, it can be written two ways. Actually, the middle C can be written two ways as well because the middle C will sometimes be written like this to look like a treble clef note or sometimes like this to look like a bass clef note. And you can see that it, they kind of, it kind of floats around. It will not usually be right in the middle of that big space. It kind of moves around like that. And so um, the space notes will do the same thing. When we write the B as a space note, it will actually sit below this line. And we write the line in so that you know that it's below that it's below a line and that it's not just sort of floating out in space somewhere. And we can actually do the same with the B here. That turned into kind of a mess, sorry. The thing that I like to remember to help me remember which note is which is to look for this line, and so if it is sitting below the line, like this one is, it's still touching this extra line, but it's sitting below it, it's the B. The B is below the line. This note, here's the extra line, and it sits above the line on top of it, and that is the D. And that's the really important thing, because the notes can move around a little bit. Um, that, that line is your anchor to tell you which note you're looking at. 
okay? And then again, if the line is right through the middle of the note, it's a C. So even though this is seven notes, um, depending on what kind of flashcards you have, it'll be either nine or ten flashcards because um, these three notes get written two different ways. So um, go ahead and pull those out of your flashcards and get practicing those. If you have any questions, drop me a, drop me a line or leave a comment and I'll try and get back with you.